So I could take this drop of lavender oil and I'd smell it. I always like to smell it first and put a drop right on my nose because I want it to go right up into the limbic part of my brain that rules emotion, that regulates hormones and, and um, controls. It's the control center for the emotional releases in our body. So I want to get it right up into my brain. And then it says here, rub on the feet for a calming effect. What am I going to do? I'm going to rub it on my feet. Now, has anyone here taken reflexology? Okay, well, for those of you that haven't, your feet correspond to your body, so your big toes correspond to your head. So if you have a headache, you can rub this lavender on your big toes. You can rub it all over your feet. You can rub it on your husband's feet or your kids. If they come home, you know, and they're like, you know, you just need one little drop on your hands, and you don't even have to rub it on the feet. Oh, honey, have you had a rough day? Oh, you just come over and you just don't even have to put your hands in front of their face. Okay? That's one way to do it. Just put it on your hands. Another powerful way to use the oils, a lot of teachers do this. They're working with kids or students that um, are ADDHD, um, and they have different, you know, behavioral problems. And especially in the public school system, they're not, they have to be very cautious about what they do. Private schools are a little different. So a lot of these teachers can't have a diffuser going in the room, but what they can do is make a sniffy tissue. You could do something like this. And you're just going to take one drop of lavender, because we're working with lavender now, and you're going to make a sniffy tissue. And you can just put this in the pocket of your coat. You can stick it inside your blouse. And then when the students come up to talk to you, you go over to the desk you know, you're just saying, okay, okay, that's good. And it's kind of like you're diffusing the oil in their direction. This sniffy tissue is great for little ones when they want to go to sleep at night. A lot of people um, will have, you know, the kids come up at night, mommy, make me my sniffy tissue or my sleepy tissue, all different ones. And the moms will take either lavender or a beautiful blend in here called Peace and Calming. They'll put a little you know, drop in the tissue and they'll stick it in their teddy bear or their little security blanket or by their pillow, and it's wonderful to help them sleep. So that's another way you can use these oils. Um, like it says, number two, drop a lavender on the palms of your hands, smooth on your pillow to help you sleep. Put a drop of lavender oil on a bee sting or an insect bite to stop itching and reduce swelling. Mm. As you start to get into the oils more and more, you're going to want to have more of a reference guide. Because a lot of you um, are not going to be able to call someone, you know, and you're going to want to know, well, what do I do? What do I do? How do I? Oh, what did she say? Oh, I don't know what I do with my sheet. So Young Living has a tremendous amount of educational material. Two of the things that um, a lot of us never leave home without are the Essential Oil Desk Reference Guide. This is what we call our Bible. This has everything you could want to know about essential oils. Each individual oil is listed in here. You could look up lavender. You could find out what's in it. You could find out how to use it. Um, you could find out what it does for you physically and emotionally. So let's say um, you say, oh, gosh, I don't remember. Oh, wait, I bought that big book. What should I do? Oh, let me read it. Okay, historical data. It'll tell you what it was used for historically. And then medicinal properties. This is just for lavender. And the neat thing is everything I'm telling you here is backed up with scientific research. Okay, there's hard copy on it. This is not just folklore. Um, lavender is antiseptic, antifungal, analgesic, antitumoral, anticonvulsant, vasodilating, relaxant, anti-inflammatory, reduces blood fat, cholesterol, combats excess sebum on the skin. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Okay, that one little bit of oil. How do you use it? Respiratory infections, high blood pressure, arterial sclerosis, menstrual problems, PMS, skin conditions, acne, eczema, psoriasis, scarring, stretch marks, burns, hair loss, insomnia, nervous tension. Pretty cool. And I have used it for just about every single thing there, and it does work. Okay, fragrant influence. How does, it, what is it, how does it make us feel when we smell it? It's calming, relaxing, and balancing both physically and emotionally. 
university researchers in Japan found that diffusing certain aromas in an office environment dramatically improved mental accuracy and concentration. Diffused lemon resulted in 54% fewer errors, jasmine 33% fewer errors, and lavender 20% fewer errors. When aromas were diffused during test taking, scores increased by as much as 50%. Has been documented to improve concentration and mental acuity. Pretty cool. Um, University of Miami researchers found that inhalation of lavender increased beta waves in the brain, suggesting heightened relaxation. It also reduced depression and improved cognitive performance. And it lists all the sources for this. So if you had someone say, oh, yeah, 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 well, yeah, look it up. That's the, you know, they'll tell you about it. And then it says, application, well, how do I do it if it's so good for this? Tells you different ways. Number one, apply two to four drops on location. You have a headache. You have a bee sting. You burned your fingers, you know, cooking on the stove. That means on location. Number two, chakras or VitaFlex points. If anyone's not familiar with chakras, we have different energy centers in the body. There's seven, seven different main chakras. We have many chakras all over our body. But um, they're very powerful points, and those can be used to apply the oils to, and then VitaFlex points. For those of you that are not familiar with raindrop technique, um, VitaFlex is a form of um, reflexology that involves applying the oils to the skin and then VitaFlexing them into the skin to disperse them. And we have very powerful VitaFlex points throughout the body, similar to acupressure points or acupuncture points. So there's wonderful charts in this book for the feet and for the hands and for the ears that show you VitaFlex points. So let's say someone is having a problem with their liver. Let's say it's your mother-in-law. And she, you know, I don't want you touching, you know. But you know that lavender would really help calm her, and she tends to be agitated a lot, so probably her liver is a little bit toxic. So you're thinking, hmm, I, this lavender might really help calm her, but you know she's not going to, you're not going to be able to touch her liver. So you can't apply it topically. But she loves to have her feet rubbed. You know, oh, yeah, oh, you can touch my feet. So you can go to the feet, and you can look for the liver point on her feet, and you can apply the oil to the liver point. Because in this book, again, it has the foot chart. And the right side of the body, okay, meaning the right foot, would have the liver point, which is right there. Okay? So that means on location, and you could put that drop of lavender on there, and you could VitaFlex it in, and she'd be just like, oh, you're the sweetest daughter-in-law. I just love it when you come over. Anyhow, that means, um, that's another on location VitaFlex point. Three, directly inhale. We did that, right? Number four, diffuse. What do we mean when we say diffuse? Diffusion is a way to get the oils into the air, and it's a way to... Um, kill airborne bacteria, enhance your mood, um, cleanse the room, refresh the room, kill germs, bacteria, whatever. Let's say your husband has chronic insomnia or you have insomnia or it's stressful. You're just going underneath, you know, who knows what's going on and just think, oh, it'd be nice to diffuse some lavender before I go to sleep. You can take your diffuser, take your lavender oil and either pour 20 to 30 drops in this little well Okay, there's a little well down there. Or you can take the bottle and just, you know, take the cap off and slip it right into there. And it'll just release the oils into the well. So at 1045, that diffuser is going to go on for 15 minutes, diffusing this wonderful lavender into the bedroom. You want to make sure the doors are closed, and ideally you have a light fan on. Okay, and then after 15 minutes, it shuts off. You come in, smells really good. You get into bed, you have a great night's sleep.